it's not going to be this date. What's, what's the date? Hit, hit that light. What was the date of this? The 24th. So this is the Lawrence County Jail. You know, I got a lot of files um, from, from this particular uh, data dump that I got. I got a lot of things. How are you guys doing? You can see everybody. So this is March 29th, 2022, and uh, let me hold the, I wish, really wish I could find my bows. But, you guys like this, watch. Just stand right here, sir. No problem. Thank you. P please put your back there for me. Thank you. Whatever you need to do. I wish I'd be here for you. All right. Your hands up on the table. All right. Fellers. Please don't be grabbing my crotch. I'm not. Hey, just put your hands up. I got you. Just don't be grabbing my dick. I'm not grabbing you. I don't have anything down my pants. Come on. Don't grab my cock and put your fingers in my asshole. I don't need it. There's nothing on me. I don't have any weapons or any drugs. Yes, sir. This is just protocol. I get it, but it's it's pretty subtle. I'm not. I don't have anything on me, dude. Obviously. Why would I ever do something like that? Step right here, please. No problem. Sorry, but It's very good you get video evidence. I'm on. I'm on. I'm on good video for you. What is it now? I'd like to hard your information. My name is Jose De Castro. J O S E. Yes, sir. I was born 9 11. Respect his questions, you answer mine. You know you don't need my social security number. Answer his question, please. My middle name is Maria, now answer mine. Do you know that that's not right to ask my social security number? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you, sir. It's, in, it's incorrect, you shouldn't do that to people. You don't have a right to my personal. I can, I, we can ask you anything. We can ask you, but it doesn't mean you should know better, though. We have rights. See, you can don't answer it. I didn't Why answer it, but I, I'm not intimidated. Other I'm people not. are trying to intimidate you. Well, when the guys are standing around with guns and knives, they say, what's your security number? You can force them to do it. Gun? I don't have a gun either, sir. I should be released. You guys should charge me and release me. You guys should do this right. Um, we don't have anything to do with Oh, that. I'm sure you don't. Preposterous. I'm peacefully protesting. I haven't raised my voice or cursed at anybody. What's his birthday? I'll put that in there. It's 9 11. I could use some water, and I have to use the restroom. I don't see why I couldn't have some water and maybe go to the bathroom. Obviously, I'm not going to try to escape. <laughs> I'd like my phone back from Pam. It's not evidence. Yeah. If you take my life and leave it from me, I'll sue. Okay. You're, you su you're suing anyway. You, I am suing anyway. Okay. Don't worry about I, I already filed a lawsuit against you guys today, okay. which is ironic that the sheriff's department wouldn't arrest me. It's pretty ironic when I filed a lawsuit against you today and then I get arrested by the same people I sued today. I don't know anything about that, man. But you know I filed a lawsuit. I did not know. Well, then you guys should have known. Dude, I just got to work. 
Aye. Mr. Stablatt, sir. Thank you. Mr. Barber. Yes, sir. You know, I'm just going to stop in here for one second. I want to go back just a little bit. This guy, uh, Steve, the, the guard, you know, he made me really change my opinion about prison guards because I said they were all terrible people. And Steve does his best to treat me with as much respect as I treat him with. And he, he made me kind of shift my perspective a little bit. You know, some of these guys, I don't know. I don't know Steve. I'm just saying he was he was decent to me. Evan, this isn't going to end well, dude. It's going to end bad for you, man. You're going to end up going to prison. And I don't want you to go there. You don't belong in a, in a prison, dude. You just have to be straightened out. You need education. Why can't you do this with most people? Why can't you just treat them with respect and dignity? You don't have to torture anybody. Very few, very few people want to fight you, dude. You guys are big and strong, and you're burly. I'm not going to go for you. I'm not going to assault you. I wouldn't swing a punch at you. I'm not disrespecting you, man. I wouldn't do that to you. I'm not doing that to you, sir. I won't try to fight anybody on the street. I won't punch anybody in here. I won't assault anybody. Why do you have to put those on me? It's not going to put you on me. It's just protocol. Oh, it's a little tight. It's a little tight. Okay. Once well, I get your hand in here, I'll... It's protocol, but it's not necessary. I'm not going to tighten it down. But I'm going to loosen necessary. it up right now. It's not necessary. Yes, it is. It's Why? Part of my job, sir. But that's it's the wrong thing to do. And you that's the problem I have with cops. You should know better. You know I'm a constitutional law scholar. You know I would not do anything right, well, look, to jeopardize your health, safety, or mine. I can put my finger through there. Yeah, but that's, that's, a, that's the lie. That's, all that's I the need. lie. It's still torture. Now these aren't as tight as they as most people's are, but it's still torture. It is torture. You shouldn't do this to people. I want to see this jail anyway, so now I get to see it and do a first-hand account of what was going on here. Behind it. <laughs> hey, you guys hit your like button, take your finger and hit your like button. I know uh, any new subscribers hit, make sure you hit subscribe and I'll, I'll keep going, but make sure you hit the like button and make sure you subscribe. I, I, we gotta keep getting as big as we can. Yeah, right, step that way, please. I'd like some water. Yeah, we'll get some water. Yeah. We'll get you a water bottle. We'll get you to sit down over here. Just have your seat on this bench right here for me. Thank you. I'll do whatever you ask me to do, sir, besides take off my clothes and strip down. I won't do it. So if you guys are going to attack me like wild hyenas, you're welcome to do so. But I will not be showing you my balls. I will not be showing you my asshole. That's not going to happen under any circumstances. Mm -hmm. Or I'll lose the rest of my teeth. I'm not going to show it. And then, unfortunately, and I don't know why, the the video freezes. I don't know why that would happen. There's a there's another. I don't know how much time there's. Yeah, there's another five six minutes that we're missing here. Where the it's obviously it's a it's a bad download. They is you know apparently they they made a mistake in the download. So we'll have to get another copy of this for discovery because there's not the rest of the of the video. But there's a lot of videos that they sent to me, and the one that is the most important one is the AVI. The one you guys just saw down here. Whoops. And it cuts off. This this is the one, and I'll show you which one it is. I believe it's you're gonna see it from. And there's no shots of the drunk tank. Is it from this one? to see this it's from this shot here I 
think it's going to be two back. Yeah, it's going to be not that one. Okay, so I'm already in. Okay, do you see the camera right there? This is the one, this is the camera we wanna see. We wanna see this camera right here. And if I go back one more, you'll get to see them set it up. So this camera right here, you can see it. This camera is on me the entire time that I went into the jail. For every second that I was there, this camera was on me, and unless I was in the drunk tank. And I can't, there's no video of the drunk tank, which is what I was concerned about. That's where so many people tell me that they were beaten is in the drunk tank. Now, this guy was very respectful and decent to me. He, 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 he was to me, so. I, I gave those guys respect, but you're not gonna put your fingers in my bottom and I'm not gonna pull up my sack and you're not, I'm not gonna let you look at my butthole. There's no point, there's no point. And they were very respectful. But I'm also a different. Okay, you see this? So watch, they're gonna move this here and then they're gonna move, they're gonna bring this camera right here and they're gonna put the camera right there. And that camera right there is gonna remain on me the entire time I'm right there. And so this camera footage here is the camera footage we need because this has sound on it. And the other camera angles that you're gonna get from over here and over here aren't gonna have any sound on them, but this one does, this one right here. And this is the one that we want. So, you know, I, I just I just don't think that this kind of facility is necessary for Americans in today's world. I think there are some criminally insane people who are definitely going to belong in this kind of a facility uh, because they're criminally insane and you're not going to solve that riddle. But uh, there's far, far, far fewer of them than you could possibly imagine. Most people could be rehabilitated with education, even if they're young and violent. Just through basic learning of English and math, they could change everything. But instead, we have this this dungeon-like system that you know you, you know I'm treated as though you know I'm not a threat. He, these guys know I'm not going to attack them, but everybody's treated like a threat. That that you have to be chained up and shackled up. I mean, the videos I've seen, I've seen uh, people who are called prisoners that shouldn't be that called. I I've seen them help guards who were choking and dying. And I've seen where there's been jailbreaks where people who are called prisoners don't try to run away with the other people. They go, no, no, I'm not running anywhere. So, you know, and it's only a very small fraction of those people who want to run away. So, you know, look, I... I So they're going to call me over here. Look, you know, I've agreed to do anything that they want me to do. I've said, I'll do whatever you want. But, you know, I'm, I'm not going to have you look in my bottom. And I'm not going to have you, you know, look up my, my front. And, you know, there's just no point in it. It's just, I mean, there's just no point in it. But, you know, it's terrible that the footage we truly need on this camera right here isn't available. And the download that we got, all these other files work, but this one doesn't work. And this is the one that has the sound on it. Just stand right here, sir. Thank you. Please put your back there for me. Thank you. Whatever you need me to do. I will. Thank you. 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 Th
Sorry about that. So the 1980 case, the 1980 case of Johnson versus Glick. If you're not familiar with Johnson versus Glick, maybe one of the moderators can type it down in the in the comment section. Johnson versus Glick is going to make it so that it's extraordinarily hard to file a 1983, which is a civil rights violation against guards, prison guards, and jailers. It's a monumental case that you 100% need to know. And here's the most important part. You have lost all of your rights. You are behind walls where you might get the camera if you're in a high profile case like mine is for the area that I'm in. But for the most part, you know, you're not gonna get access to these cameras in this fashion. And the footage that we truly need again is not there. We, the, we needed the one, this one here to finish properly. But just remember, you have to be able to hold your ground, but at the same time, make sure you don't disrespect these guys because it, it, you don't want to disrespect these guys when you go in, the guys who are the prison guards. You don't want to because of the 1980 case of Johnson versus Glick. Please put your back there for me. Thank you. Whatever you need to do. I wish I'd be here for me. All right. So, this machine is called a. Uh, what is it? What's the name of that machine? Don't grab my cock and yeah. your in my what is that machine called? A Tech 84. That machine's called a Tech 84. I get it, but it's pretty subtle. It's $160,000. I don't have anything on me, dude. Obviously. Why would I ever do something like that? Step right here, please. No problem. Sorry, bud. It's very good. You get video evidence. Oh. What is it? Absolutely everything should be on camera and this system of treating people should come to an end in our lifetimes. We, sh we should not treat human beings like this, even if they've done something wrong. They, they shouldn't be treated like this. All my communications taken away. You shouldn't cut off people's communications unless they're an actual danger to society where they're texting people on their phone to do horrible things that I won't even see out loud on YouTube. You can imagine. But if they're not doing that, then this kind of system of treatment should come to an end in our lives. We must end this treatment. This is horrible. This is a horrible way to be treated. Now, these guys treated me extraordinarily fairly. They, they, my, my wrist didn't even ache when I left because they didn't torture me with those cuffs. My name is Jose De Castro. J O S E. Yes, sir. I was born 9 11 74. <clears throat> right, what's your full social security number? I'm not giving that to you. You don't have a right to that information. You know that. Watch Steve. Watch you know Steve. That, right? Which middle name? But do you know that? Do you see him? I, I heard the question. I asked you a question. I'll respect his question if you answer mine. You know you don't need my social security number. Answer his question, please. My middle name is Maria. Now answer mine. Do you know that that's not right to ask me my social security number? Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. Did you hear? He it's said. Incorrect. He said. Yes, sir. Because it's not right, and Steve knows it. He, Steve, Steve changed my position on on security guards. He didn't beat me. Maybe someone else got beat by Steve, but he didn't beat me. And he was he was very respectful to me and engaging. Actually, I thought. So you know, it, in a, in a, just so you guys know, you're no longer living in Kansas anymore once you've gone to the dungeon once you're inside the dungeon the amount of respect that you treat another man in a dog eat dog world goes a long long way okay this man didn't arrest you right he has more than absolute power it's almost impossible to win a 1983 against a guard or jailer it can be done but very few cases have I listened to at the Supreme Court level or federal level. I mean, there's some famous ones, you know, Monroe versus Pape. But, but, but even that is horrific in the end. So absolute power over you. This is Lord of the Flies world. 
hold your ground, keep your respect, but don't disrespect the other man. <laughs> I wish I didn't know this so well. I can, I, we can ask you anything. We can ask you, but it doesn't mean you should know better, though. We have rights. See, don't answer it. I didn't Why answer it, but I'm not intimidated. Other I'm people not. are intimidated. Well, when the guys are standing around with guns and knives, they say, what's your secure number? And you can force them to do it. He doesn't have a gun. I don't have a gun either, sir. I should be released. You guys should charge me and release me. You guys should do this right. Um, we don't have anything to do with Oh, that. I'm sure you don't. Peacefully protesting. I haven't raised my voice or cursed at anybody. Not a single person. What's his birthday? I'll put that in there. It's 9 11 of 74, September 11th, 1974. Everybody knows my information. I've been doxxed a hundred times now. You can't get away from it. I just had to get that life lock scrap. Restroom. I don't see why I couldn't have some water and maybe go to the bathroom. Obviously, I'm not going to try to escape. <laughs> I'm locked in a dungeon. Hi, <laughs> right, All right. Just be right here and look at that bullseye for me. No, don't go to the sir. Just look at the bullseye for me. Yes, sir. Thank you. So, I, I, I don't know what I'm getting into, but I, I don't think I have a choice. I, I think if if you don't do what you're told to do, you're 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 in a dog eat dog world. You're being told what to do by someone who has absolute power. Very few times do you want to challenge that when you're in the dungeon. I'm just telling you how to survive the dungeon. I don't want to go in that machine. I don't know what it's doing to my body. I'm doing it. I'm not gonna. You, you see, there's life. a time to challenge authority. It's not in this position. You're suing anyway. You, I am suing anyway. Okay. I, I already said. filed a lawsuit against you guys today, okay. which is ironic that the sheriff's department wouldn't arrest me. It's pretty ironic when I filed a lawsuit against you today and then I get arrested by the same people I sued today. I don't know anything about that. Man. But you know I filed a lawsuit. I did not know. Well, then you guys should have known. Sir, I just got to work. Right. You can step out, sir. Thank you. Super over here. Yes, sir. You're in Lord of the Flies. Evan, this isn't going to end well, dude. It's going to end bad for you, man. You're going to end up going to prison. And I don't want you to go there. You don't belong in a, in a prison, dude. You just have to be straightened out. You need education. I'm I'm, so right here, I'm talking to uh, Evan McKnight. I was talking to Evan McKnight. I was telling him I think he's going to go to prison if he keeps beating on people. Why can't you do this with most people? Why can't you just treat them with respect and dignity? You don't have to torture anybody. Very few, very few people want to fight you. You guys are big and strong, and you're burly. I'm not going to go for you. I'm not going to assault you. I wouldn't swing a punch at you. I'm not disrespecting you. I wouldn't do that. To you. I'm not doing that to you, sir. I won't try to fight anybody on the street. I won't punch anybody in here. I won't assault anybody. Why do you have to put those on me? That's a little tight. It's a little tight. Okay. Once well, I get your hand in here, I'll... It's protocol, but it's not necessary. I'm not going to tighten it down. But I'm going to loosen necessary. it up right now. It's not necessary. Yes, it is. It's Why? It's part of my job, sir. But that's it's the wrong thing to do, and you that's the problem I have with cops. You should know better. You know I'm a constitutional law scholar. You know I would not do anything right, well, look, to jeopardize your health, safety, or mine. I can put my finger through there. Yeah, but that's, that's, a, all that's the lie. That's, all that's the needs. lie. It's still torture. Now, these aren't as tight as, they, as most people's are, but it's still torture. It is torture. You shouldn't do this to people. Yeah, and, and you know, to be clear, you know, do you, I'm not sure if you can see, but my sweatshirt is actually underneath of my handcuffs here. Um, that's how uh, they really were like, like bracelets on me because, you know, I, I knew that, you know, I, 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 I'm not going to fight these guys and they know what I think, you know, I, I don't know. I, I think maybe that my number one problem with all of uh, America is putting handcuffs on human beings who don't need to be put in handcuffs and certainly not behind their back. You know, I, I just, it's a fundamental problem and we have to address it. These torture cuffs have to go. They just have to go. People don't need to be put in these, especially behind their back. Like they are 
absolute wild savage pigs. It has to go. Now, these are on me really loose, you guys. I didn't even have a, an indention on my wrist from them. I want to see this jail anyway, so now I get to see it and do a first time account of what, what's going on. Get you a water bug. Sit down over here. Just have your seat on this bench right here for me. The water takes about 20 minutes. Thank you. I'll do whatever you ask me to do, sir, besides take off my clothes and strip down. Do so if you guys are going to attack me like wild hyenas, you're welcome to do so. But I will not be showing you my balls. I will not be showing you my asshole. That's not going to happen. Under any circumstances, mm. or I'll lose the rest of my teeth. I'm not going to show you. So I want you guys to notice something here. I want you to notice something important, okay? It's going to freeze up here, but my act of defiance isn't in that man's face. I'm sitting down when I express my act of defiance that I'm not going to agree to a strip search and I'm not going to pull up my... my I already said it. You heard it. So, <clears throat> so now th we lose the rest of this footage here and this is the rest of the footage that I want to see. So... I don't know why this error, um, this glitch happened, maybe in the downloading, I'm sure. Um, but originally, uh, they told uh, Zane that, that uh, and then the, I think, you know, the rest of this is really just um, elementary, but th there's no drunk tank, just so you know. There's no drunk tank at all. I mean, and so just so you guys know, in the drunk tank, I did my classic uh, 100 push-ups that I do. I do push-ups in real quick three sets of 100 in you know, under three minutes sometimes, sometimes you know, four minutes. If you can do it, it's amazing. But, but we don't get to see the footage that we really need to see. And that's, I want to see the inside of that drunk tank. I mean, you, you put someone in a tank where there's no cameras. Look, there's, you know, on all these, on all this footage over here, when they finally did lock me away and say, you got to go wait over here if they're going to bail you out of jail, there's, there's no footage. There's no footage. So when they, when they're going to let you out of the dungeon, there's no, the, when they're going to actually lock you in the dungeon, excuse me, when they're going to actually lock you in the dungeon, there's, there's no footage. When they put me back and I did all those push-ups, I actually went into meditation big time because I've mentally prepared myself that I may have to go to a dungeon. So I mentally, I mean, I, I, I immediately locked into meditation so I could accept being put into a, a, a locked room that I couldn't get out of. And I was the only one there. And now seeing that there's no cameras there's no cameras of that locked room. I can't, it's frustrating for me because I wanted to see, I, want, I wanted to see how many push-ups I did and <laughs> how quick I did them because I was all jazzed up with full of adrenaline. So I, I tried to beat my best record, but, ah, uh, so frustrating. So frustrating. It's not there. It's just not there. It's just not there. This is the only good footage. And I've already seen it twice, so it's, it's just not there. <sighs> so frustrating. So, you know, anyway, I just wanted you guys to see what that's like, you know, to to go through a, a dungeon system for, 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 for what that's like. And then let me see that over there, will you please? The whole thing. Oh, jeez. Okay, I got it. Ah. So... This is the, the training manuals for the Lawrence County Jail. Um, let me hit the slide over here. This is um, public policy and procedure of the patrol division. This is the oaths of office of the, sh of the sheriff and the sheriff's department. I mean, let me see. 
This is their their the their policies and procedures. And this is the so this is from 0, 0, 1, 0, 20, 0, 1, 26, 21, and this is the policies and procedures. So what what we we asked for the the records of the training, and that's kind of what I'm I'm kind of sifting through now. I want to see the training records. I'll, 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 it's, it's a lot, so I'll, but I was right there. I'm right there. Okay. Okay. So, well, I can, I can just read you guys off the front. So this, this is like a Bible. I mean, that's, that's about how thick it is, right? This is, that, that, you know, that's pretty, that's pretty thick. That's pretty thick. For the policies of, and then so you're going to have on the cover of this code of ethics discrimination court orders warrantless searches which should absolutely come to an end your 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 home should be your castle you should there should never be a, an entrance into your home with the cameras today there should never be an entrance into your home ever sexual harassment inspections emergency escorts Reporting for duty, intra, intra office communications. So, th th this is how you see how the inner workings of the Lawrence County Sheriff's Department works. If you if you take the time to to read this, then you'll understand what their protocols are and their and and who's been trained and when they were trained and how they were trained on what. So, sorry stick was not doing what I wanted so anyway okay I got my charges here but I sure would like the rest of that video that'd be great I sure would like the rest of that video I sure would like the rest of that video I'd like to see the rest of that I'd like to see the rest of that wouldn't you guys like to see the rest of that I sure would like to see the rest of it um, thanks for getting that to me um, half of it I want I don't want to you know fill up I want to see the Mr. Waldo. I want to. I want to see the rest of it. So also today they. <laughs> um, no, I'll tell you tomorrow. It'll be more fun tomorrow. <laughs> you think this is over? The party has just begun. And listen, okay. Let me address this. Let me address this. Okay. Listen. There are processes of the law that you don't know, that you, you haven't considered, that you haven't considered, that we have considered on behalf of my cases, what I'm talking since we just watched me get arrested. We have considered those things. So now I'm not telling you guys the things that we're doing, but we're... <laughs> We're involved in legal warfare with the state. And what the state wants to do is to overwhelm me, to revoke my bond, to do all these things. But the thing is, is you are allowed due process of law. That means that there are multiple avenues that you can go in if you know what they are. Now, I'm fortunate because the team that I have around me is, is look, I, I feel like, I feel like a income poop when I sit next to Bobby Law. You guys, I can't wait to, Bobby, I can't wait for Bobby Law to launch his channel. Ooh, oh, oh man, get your pen and paper out. This guy is a absolute genius. When you, you'll see, you'll see, you heard him earlier. I mean, you, you guys heard him earlier. This guy's, I'm not a constitutional law scholar, I'm a constitutional junior. <laughs> I'm a I'm a junior I'm a junior junior I'm a junior little scholar <laughs> I just like to read and learn new 
law. But but so so the people of Ironton, when you guys start to say he's going to jail, he's going to jail for sure. Okay, so number one, it, let's just say Waldo issues a warrant. There's there's steps you can take to quash a warrant. Do you understand that? You can file a motion about a multitude of different things that I'll show you as soon as we, we, we finish the process that we're doing right now. I'll show you the motions so you guys can see them. But but when you I, when I hear people send me an email, you know that I'm going I'm I'm this I'm, whoa whoa. Remember and, and think about it like this too. When I am you essentially because what what's my crime? Let's say I'm guilty of peacefully protesting. Let's say I'm guilty. I pay, I paid a $1500 bond, right? Let's say I'm guilty as hell for peacefully protesting. What would be the benefit of society to put me in jail for 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 no for no victims? Why why would the state want to pay for that? What's the bon What's the bonus to the state? Why would the state want to put me in jail? For what? But now I want you to think about something else. I am you essentially with whatever charge you ever got, right? And the state has endless finances to convict me. They have endless amount of resources to come after me, including trying to revoke my bond. Endless, endless ways to try to come at you. You know, so we're, we're fighting back through the legal channels that we're fighting back in and i i think this i think it'll be a good time to bring in um i think bobby law maybe maybe this weekend maybe as early as this weekend i think you know it's it's you know lots to talk about lots to talk about but but i don't want people of ironton you know i have court this thursday right i don't want people of ironton to come to a conclusion in their mind about what my fate is because so and so and so and so said this. They said that. They said this. So on the back of my sweatshirt says constitutional law scholar, right? What does that mean? I, I surround myself with people who also are constitutional law scholars. That that's what they study. That's what they learn. That's what they that's what they like to you guys see on my YouTube when it, it goes from thing to thing, you see bar exam, you see going over jurisdiction, going over we any any facet of law, especially federal law, I'm just I, that's that's what I do with my with my time when we're not together. So we have multiple avenues in my criminal case of peacefully protesting. We have multiple avenues in my criminal case of willingly surrendering. One out of twelve people getting arrested. <laughs> you, you see, there's limitless options of which how you can go back towards the legal system, but you don't know what they are. And that's where you're at a disadvantage. And, and look, me too. I have people on my team who are far better than me. But there's a lot of legal recourses. Even if Mr. Waldo says, I'm going to issue a warrant and end his bond, he's going to jail. There's still legal recourses, but, you know, hopefully before I have to go to a dungeon. For, for peacefully protesting on March 29th. You see, let me jail him. Why? He came within 100 feet of a cop. He was banned from being within 100 feet of that cop. Jail that man. Yeah, they're all, they're all scared. They, they... <laughs> you think that? Maybe. Beta males. I'm, I'm just saying, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, yeah, yeah. So now you guys got to see it. You guys got to see exactly what the dungeon looked like, what it was like to go to the dungeon, and and you and you you going through that. Just so you know, when you're not a, whole, a high, you know, it, it, for that area, it was a high profile thing. If it's not a high profile thing for you, then. You, you may not protest. You may protest into the chin of your body going into a pure metal bench. 
bench because you didn't want to bend over, squat, and cough. That, that's what can happen to you if, 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 you don't, if you don't comply to the turnaround, put your hands on the wall, spread your, your butt cheeks, and we're going to look up in there the best we can. And if you don't accept it, you're going to get that hell beat out of you to levels you can't even understand. Your teeth might get knocked out. You might get kicked in the kidneys, the back, the ribs. And, and, and in the drunk tank, there's no camera. And I'm not just talking about Lawrence County Jail. They treated me very fairly. To the point where they had a Rome camera that was watching everything that I did. So, what do you guys think of the dungeon system? How was it? Is that what you want to go through? You, you know, handcuffed, cuffed up, not these cuffs, but these cuffs, and cuff you and stick you in a cage where there's no cameras, and it's dirty, it stinks. And Steve did say they cleaned it up the best they could before I was coming. I asked him, yeah, I said it smells in here like alcohol and dirt. And he said so we cleaned it up the best we could before you got here. Where's the video inside the drunk tank? Where's it at? Where's the rest of the video where we can hear it and there's sound? Why does it cut off halfway through and I just get a blank card? I mean, the rest of the videos came through. Maybe, maybe I'm not looking in the right places. Anyway, so uh, you guys remember th there's something important that, we, you know, you have, to Im you have to ingrain in your mind and you have to ingrain it like it means everything to you and you can never, ever, ever, ever back down because we will never, ever stop. Never. Never. This system is trash. This system is garbage. There is no reason to treat free Americans like this. I'm watching it back and it's just incensing me the more I think about how I have to, you know, he even says, and they were nice as apple pie, those guys. And they said, we have to do this. This is our job, our policy to do this to you. You have to go in these shackles. It's, it's insane. It has to stop. It has to stop. We stop in our lifetimes because we don't stop. We don't stop. I'm pissed off. I'm, 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 I'm out. We don't stop. You guys. Don't stop.